Hi, my name is Amar and I welcome you to the brand new series of Flutter Apparite tutorial using GetX. In this video, I will give you a brief introduction about Apparite. Now, what is Apparite? Apparite is a self-hosted backend as a service, means it is a BAS that provides developers with all the core APIs required to build any application. Now, generally when we create an app, then we need certain APIs like the API for managing the user account, API for inserting values, updating values, deleting values. What the app write does? The app write, it abstracts the complex and repetitive task involved in creating the REST API. The APIs will be provided by the app write. App write is both cross cross platform and technology agnostic, meaning it can run on any operating system, coding language, framework, or platform. This means we can access the app write from Flutter or from Node.js or from PHP. This means it is independent of the coding language as well as it can run on any platform, whether it is Windows, Linux, or Mac. Now, what are the services that is provided by App Write? These are the services: account service. With the help of account service, we can manage the entire account management functionality like creating the user account, updating the user account, deleting the user account. Next we have database service. With the help of database service, we can create database. Database is a collection of collections and collections is a collection of documents. Although we are talking of collection and document, but here the data is stored in a structured format. Remember, it is not a NoSQL database. Okay, so with the help of database services, we can store the data. Next, we have storage service. With the help of storage service, we can upload as well as download the app-related media files. Okay, now uh, let me tell you one more thing. In case of database, we can manage the permission on the collection level. Similarly, in case of storage, also we can manage the permission means the read and write permission next we have functions now functions are certain codes which resides in the backend and those functions can be called or can be triggered if there is if there are certain changes in the app this means from the app we can call the cloud based functions next we have a localization service with the help of localization service we can get the user location user ip address and based on those informations we can customize the app as well as the app right provides a console from where we can see the user accounts created all the databases that we can see from the console which is provided by the app right next we need to understand how to install this app right the app right can be installed with docker let me show you first of all we need to visit this particular site the link you can find in the description of video and here we need to download this docker software for windows if you want to install it for linux then we can uh, visit this particular link fine after downloading you need to install the docker software after installing the docker software we need to visit this particular link from here we need to go to this one that is unix if it is a unix operating system then you need to copy this command and run it and if it is windows operating system then you need to run this command now once you run this command then app write will be installed local locally fine now one when it is being installed it will ask you for the port number by default it runs on port 80 if you want you can change it as well now once it has been installed after that we need to visit this localhost 86 because here i am running it on port number 86 and after that if you visit then you will get a login screen in the login screen you will get a sign up option if you click on sign up then you will get this particular link and this link will have this sign up window from where you can create the account fine suppose you are providing your name email password and after that you need to sign up your account will be created here I have already created the account. After creating the account, you need to log in. Once you log in, then you will get an interface like this. And here I have created a project as well. Now, how to create the project that I will discuss later on. 
just here you need to understand that after login you will get a uh, interface like this now how to create project how to create database that i will discuss later on fine okay that's it for today's video we'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching